What's going on guys? I got another Battlefield 2042 controller settings video for you. You know, with every new update, they fix a lot of stuff and the game gets better every time, which is fantastic. But in the process of that, we also have settings that we have to go back and maybe take a look at because certain things that we had had one way and now work better than they did initially. And maybe we don't need to have as much adjustment on something. So that's what we're doing today. Let's take a look. All right, first things first here, soldier aim sensitivity. You know, this is I've always just going to depend on who it is uh, using this. I, I like it around 55 to 60, um, depending on, you know, the day, how I'm feeling. Uh, field of view, uh, again, um, as same as my previous video, we're, we're keeping this lower. A lot of people like to put it all the way up, and in previous titles, this worked great. But there is a difference in horizontal and vertical FOV in this game. Uh, so when you have it around 90, it's going to feel more like it did at 100 and five or 120 let's say in other games uh so keep this around 90 it also helps to smooth things out quite a bit as well ads field of, field of view on um we're going to turn soldier the uh, uniform soldier aiming off i tried this on and tried a lot of different settings for it it just it feels a little bit clunky it changes too much when you aim down sights i think for you so i like to leave it off i think it just keeps things better now here for soldier aim assist and snap assist um for those of you who are not professional you know gamers or youtubers or whatever um put these both at 100. i think you're going to really like the way it feels um if you are trying to play a little more competitively which you know battlefield isn't really a competitive game but if you are trying to do that maybe lower maybe keep this at 100 and lower this all the way down to zero or play around with it uh, you know between zero and 20. but i really think for just jumping in and being able to just absolutely beam some people 100 on both these is going to be just fine um soldier sprint uh this is going to be something again that i think is kind of up to you guys um same with traversal sprint uh i like uh, i don't know why this is on i i usually like to have it off and then get to it because i feel like i have more control over my character um soldier zoom aim sensitivity uh either between 195 i think or 190 even would be fine this is again more preference it's going to change depending on your play style i think um if you're playing more up close you're going to want to leave this around 100 you might even want to bump it up slightly um, if you're playing more medium range to long range or sniping you might want to lower this down uh, to 90. Uh, all these again all this stuff is all really just preference based now this is where things get a little bit different from the previous videos i've done uh, this was something i used to use in battlefield 5 and i i loved i absolutely loved how that game felt i still love the way that game feels uh compared to anything really but put five percent uh aim acceleration on it's it's going to smooth things out so much um you could even play with this a little bit higher and then lower your your overall sense a little bit um you want to play with this just a little bit but i would say uh, between five and ten five is probably the best spot vertical aim ra uh, vertical aim ratio 47 uh, we're keeping the vertical zoom ratio at 100 uh and because we have uniform soldier aiming off this is open uh, i'm keeping all these at 100 but again you can change these based on your preferences um here we go this is kind of the more more the most one of the most important parts at least that i think about um getting this game to feel right center dead zone two and a half is where i've got it you might need to raise it up a little bit if you're having sick drift um you can even lower it a, a little bit more than this i feel like if it's a little too low though it gets a little too it's a little too touchy you know uh but somewhere between two and four is where you're going to want it axial dead zone 1.5 is i think the best place to have it i tried it at zero it can feel a little bit uh unaccurate at times so 1.5 feels the best to me max input threshold this was something we had at 97 before i've lowered it down just a little bit since then um, it feels even more responsive what this is doing is it's allowing your sticks when you push them left right up down whatever direction you're going um, to get to 100 percent speed um, with 95 percent of the uh, amount of push that you would have to use as opposed to 100. at 100 the game feels a little unresponsive so that's where we have this so that's just changed a little bit these have changed just a little bit from the previous video um this is exactly the same as i used to have it uh we're keeping zero and 50. this is just making it so that your triggers are more responsive um the only reason i don't lower this all the way down is because i don't want to you know maybe accidentally uh, touch something there and just start shooting or you know maybe aiming when i'm just trying to track something so 
zero and 50 here, extra responsiveness. I hope you guys enjoy these settings. Let me know if you did in the comments below. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.